Welcome back to Van Crawling. I'm your host, Yorick. Ah, that was a short game. We're out of the vent. Now, if I recall, Malcolm had a password change. He also had lots of drugs. I'll have to get that to uh, Mercury later. And uh, see ya. Bam! Malcolm, are you free tonight? I thought you could swing by my apartment. Like, uh, the, the building is being surrounded by God. I'm just like just casually shifting through email. No big deal. You still make house calls, don't you, Doctor? I have something that needs to be checked out. Wow, chicka wow. Do I really have to ask twice? Guess I'll see you around five. And then, of course, he gets an email from his wife asking him to pick up some orange juice on the way home. Wow, that'll be worth a few. That'll be worth a pretty penny. What's the patience up to? Hippocrates. Just because I know who you are. Severe tinea infection compounded by untreated herpes simplex 2. Oof. Heather Poe. See, now they're yelling at me and it's really breaking my concentration. Ruptured organs, lacerations, internal bleeding, condition criminal. How? How did she? I think I'm listening to someone who died as a CIA agent or something. Frequent bouts of sex, Alexia. Thank you, Fry. Uncurable. Yes, yes, yes. Come out with my hands up. Drop my weapon. Stop stealing drugs. I'm sure there's all sorts of things I should be doing. Ignoring all of it though, like a true Malkavian. Computers for grandma. I wonder if I can use that. Sure. That's increased. Email. Hacking four. And that's without even trying. With my cooking abilities. I'm under a roof, actually. Hey Danny, could use a little help down here. Can you go up to control substances for some morphine? Pretty busy right now, thanks. F dog. No, it's not for my personal use, you bastard. Dot 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 winky face. I didn't know they were upstairs. Maybe you can get Malcolm's office. By the way, your mother wears combat boots. F dog. Spreading runoff congealing at the door. Oh shit, that's cold, but I'll go make sure to knock before I go in. I hate to catch him with the middle of a pelvic examination. And by the way, tell your mom to stop calling me. f -dog. That sounds like basic, like, co-worker bullshit. Like, eh, go fuck yourself, you jackass. Let me see. I'm getting sick of them yelling at me. Should I just go out the front door? I kind of want to go this way. No, oh, nothing there. Come out with your hands up. I like cranberries. Are you unarmed? It's the only way we'll stand our ground versus you. All right, I gotta stop that. It's getting a little a bit much, probably. My flame shrouds in the moon is melting. Cowbell? Yes! <laughs> Always need more cowbell. Yeah, uh, peanut butter jelly time. With a baseball bat. They're just gonna keep shouting that same stuff, ain't they? Oh. 
one point strength, still damn strong. Oh, son of a bitch. I totally forgot to go to the diner. Oh well. Back to the laundry room. Upstairs. Back alley. Run around in the sewers of the riskers for a little while. Do you think it'd be that easy in real life to just ditch cops? Like, oh, I'll just jump in the sewers. They'll never catch me down here. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> wow, dude. At least a woman will stand her ground. Jesus. You are under arrest. I keep telling you, I am under a damn roof. My flame shroud in the moon is melting. See, now I knew they didn't surround the building. It was all bullshit. See if I can get a quick snack. Ah, shit. Well, I don't even Come on, back here. Just. Really? Wow, they really gave up that search quick. So, you didn't hear that, right? Uh, hey, hey. What? Uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... That didn't take long at all. What is your true name, Death Dealer? You call me Trip. I own this shop. Do you sell boomsticks in this bazaar? Um, no. Not, not really. Sorry. How much gold for your goods? Alright, here's what we got today. Let me see. You can have a wrenchy. You can have a baseball bat. I'm keeping the knife. What if I sold the astrolite? Get back to me, Curio. Like, I got you morphine, bro. Oh, thank God. I got rid of the astrolite. No, you what? Ordinary pack of chewing gum. Zero gold. Shit, I'm calling it gold now. Mm. I don't need a stereo. Or a watch. I don't need medicine. I don't know how much morphine I need for Mercuria though, so I'll be back. I might have some morphine to sell you. Just casually mention that as you walk out. Oh yeah, I might be selling you some illegal drugs later. You know, no big deal. Then again, this is Santa Monica. I mean, I've never really been there. But I hear it's a wild town. <laughs> Yay, blood! Never pass some free blood. Especially when they just go wonky like that and phase out. I come Curio has the only car on this street. Now that the cop car is gone. <laughs> Dude, have you not thought about cleaning this up at all? Did you ever see Pulp Fiction? You cross the dark river, Mercury. Uh, I have some numb juice. Uh, oh, oh, holy Christ, I needed that. I'll wager that is 100% correct. I got the boom, boom. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? 
I sent them to the other side. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? I mean, I did shoot them in the head like ten times. My hands are as empty as my head. Damn. I could have used that money to buy myself some new kidneys. Anyway. Astrolite is fun, no? That Astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabat interest. Hmm. Tell me of the House of Wares. I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there, get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh... Yes, sleep with Edvon. Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tongue's hiding out at the moment. Hmm. Are there other voices for me to hear? If there are, I don't know them. But about this Tongue. Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, we're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where is the dark daughter of Yanis? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers freak oh, that Jeanette. place. I try not to do business there. Probably the most popular character from this game. What can you tell me of the Dark Daughter of Yanis? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. I need you to paint me a picture of someone Who else. Who exactly? The White Daughter of Yanis. Therese? Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette, but I hear rumors about her. Hmm. What whispers? All right, Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. But anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. What's wrong, Mercury? Not that fleet-footed. I need you to paint me a picture of Ooh, someone exactly. else. The worm in his black bath. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. How does he even know about, to, about whom I'm referring? That is so incredibly vague. Tell me of the lady and her people. Who exactly? The fleet footed god. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? I always kinda wonder what the hell he did in New York. And when exactly? He says he's about 60, though he looks like he's about 20. So I assume somewhere in his mid-20s he probably did something, which would place him... 85? 83? What did you do, Mercury? Maybe he knows something about thin blood. Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes... Oh, we can skip that. What about the city of the sea? Tell me about the chess piece. Ooh, boomsticks. Guns? Guy named Trip up the street. 
He keeps a few pieces under the table, but he doesn't sell to anybody. Doesn't have a license. I'll give him a call. He'll sell to you. It's the least I can do. I left before my mouth stopped moving. You stay there, Mercury. You nap it off. Let's check the apartment. Periodically, as you finish missions and quests, you'll get emails on your personal computer. Stop doing that. Mother should be too pleased. I'm too pleased. And? If you do so many you can actually blow like right past optional side quests also i want to hear the radio hello la you're up way past your bedtime aren't you? I you into something comfortable. every day hey i do have an unread email a favor oh from the jester prince it has come to our attention that a sample of werewolf blood has made it into the hands of the local tabloid and that they have sent it to the clinic in Santa Monica for testing. The responsible party has been dealt with most painfully, I can assure you. But for obvious reasons, we can't have anyone testing the blood. Please retrieve the blood sample from the clinic and leave it in your mailbox because that's what you want to do in a tropical climate like Santa Monica. You want to leave a packet of blood just sitting in your goddamn mailbox. He's not the smartest guy. Though he's planning to pay me for it regardless, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. Is tonight a rerun? Deb. Caller number three, what's keeping you up tonight? Deb, listen to me, Deb. They're at it again and people have got to know. They've got to know because they don't know. They won't report the stuff on the news because they own the news. Hello, Gomez. Hmm. What's the latest conspiracy? 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 It goes beyond conspiracy, okay? There's no word for something as devious and secret as this, you understand? People need to hear this. They need to know the real story. You've got our undivided attention. All right. As we all know, the Americans established a moon base back in the late 70s. Pixie Queen. Aww. I guess I should have tested it first. Why? Why would the Qatarians do this? Gomez. Oh, what should I do? I should probably go to the car. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. We need to go to the diner so we can steal a purse. And why? I don't know. I've already made off with a whole stock of morphine. Got shot at by the cops. I mean, this is a great first night. Like, this is... I see this as a total success. Hey, baby! Need company? Not really. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed-upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Interesting conversation. How you doing, Lily? Will it be? <laughs> In the air, spoiled scent. On the floor, rodent pellets. You sell filth here? You the health inspector? I'm putting that sass in my report, too. You know, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting month. 
Yay. I must seek other opportunities for my corruption. Bye bye. I found more opportunities. What'll it be? I see a pale girl in my mind. Have you seen the pale girl too? Is that a trick question? Well, thin blood is fairly innocuous. I think, though I really am curious, surely you have seen the blood drinkers crafting the crimson meat. No, no, I have never seen that. <laughs> Let me see. Child of Sif and his beauty. Have you seen this couple before? Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, about four dozen a week. I like this lady. She's got the proper sass. Thin blood. Do you know those words? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? From where did the words thin blood into your brain? Mm. I know I've heard that before. A pale, pretty flower girl muttering that perhaps. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left a tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? Yes, our paths may cross. You're kind of overcooking it, dude. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. What did we get from Lily's things? We got. We're just carrying this stuff around. What if that got shot by the cops that were shooting at me for some reason? That could have been disastrous. Hey, a bail bond. Arthur Kilpatrick's bail bonds. That fat fuck at it again. Ah, oh, shit, I touched it. Now I have herpes. August 3rd, Santa Monica, Lily. Whoa. What is it, like holographic film? And a very inconspicuous leather purse? Anyways, we're running over, and I'm going to cut it here for probably, yeah, well, whatever. Regardless, when we return, we'll be looking at a checkered floor, at a phone, several lights, and once again, there's a roof over my head. Farewell, vampire.